Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create a realistic camera animations inside the Unreal Engine by using After Effects. So let's get started. So now we are going to create the camera animations using this footage. So first we need to track the footage in After Effects. So it's simple. Just we need to select the footage and just we need to select this option like track camera. So click on this track camera. So I'll come back after tracking. So now the tracking has done. So let's play this. So now you can see it has been created the tracking points on this ground. And now what the thing is we need to select some of the tracking points and we have to specify it as a ground because we have to tell the after effect. So this tracking points is a ground level. So just I will select some of the tracking points. So like this by left click and drag. And after that we need to right click and just we need to select this set ground plane and origin. So click on this and also now we have to create a solid so that it will be the reference point for us in Unreal Engine. So just in order to create a solid just we need to right click and create solid and camera. Now see it has been created a solid and camera. So if you play. Now the solid has been matched with the movement of camera. And now what the thing is we cannot directly export this camera tracking to the Unreal Engine. So we need to take the support of uh, Sigma 4D. So first let us save this file. Uh, so just we need to go to the file and save. And now what the thing is we need to export this tracking points uh, to the Sigma 4D. So just we need to go to file export and there is an option max on Sigma 4D exported. So click on this and set the location cam tracks and click on save. It. Now that's it for the software effects. Uh, now we have to open the Cinema 4D. And now we are into Cinema 4D. And at present, I'm using R20 version. And now what the thing is, we need to import the camera trackings which has been done in After Effects. In order to do that, just we need to go to File and just we need to click on this Open and go to the location. And now this is a file which we have uh, done in After Effects. So select this file and click on Open. And now see it has been open and now if you click on display see now we got the same exact camera movements in Cinema 4D. And now if you want to rename you can rename this uh, so you can double click. Let's say we'll call it as like solid plane. And now we need to go to this file and we need to select this option save project and just we have to click on this and give the location. And let's say we'll call it as like tracks. And now let's jump to Unreal Engine. And now we are inside Unreal Engine. So now we have to import the camera tracks which has been done uh, from the Cinema 4D. So before that we need to enable one plugin. So just we need to go to edit and plugins and search for Datasmith. And here we have to enable this plugin Datasmith Cinema 4D importer. Just we have to enable this and we need to click on this restart. So I'll come back after restarting. And now we have restarted. And now we need to import the Cinema 4D file here. So in order to do that, just we need to go to this file and there is an option called Datasmith and just we need to click on this file import. And this is a file which has been imported from the uh, Cinema 4D. So we need to select this and click on open. And we need to set the location here. Uh, so in case if you want to set in the contents, just we can or else we, if you want to create a new folder, just you can create. So let's say we'll create new folder. So just click on OK. And now make sure we have to import the geometry so that it will be the reference for us to place the camera exactly where you want. Uh, so this geometry is nothing but the solid which we have created in the After Effects. And just we have to click on this import. And now it has been imported. And here you can see in Outliner it has been created the camera which we have imported from the Cinema 4D. So now you can see if I go to this uh, camera 3D here. Now see it has been created, but we need to place it in the proper position and just exit from this camera. And now you can see the camera has been created uh, in this position. And here you can see it has been created some folders. Uh, so what the thing is we need to go to this animation and we need to double click on this tracks so that it will open the sequencer tab. Now if you click on this play, now we are getting this animations exactly which is matching to the video which were used for the track. And now we need to change this positions of this. Uh, so in the outliner, if you go to this tracks here, now we can change the position. So select this tracks and just we need to set this position. So what the thing is, it is moving entire set which we have imported from the Cinema 4D. So just like, and you can see the view in this window. And now if you want, you can make a rotation for this. Uh, now let's say, suppose if I want to start from here, So 
so now we have position properly let's check it out uh, so just i will go to this camera 3d and now we need to click on display so you can see now we got the realistic camera movements so now it is matching the movements exactly to the video which we have done tracking in after effects so that's it for this video thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel